Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. Today I'll teach you how to resize windows using Python. If you try to change the dimension of the windows, all the screen becomes black and you can do nothing to restore the drawing. To solve the problem, first of all, we must implement a window and uh, some function that uh, draws something on screen. And then we want to create the event environment. And to do that is very simple. All you must do is write at the name of the window, in this case, save windows dot event. And with this line of code, you have access to all the changement that can happen to a window. Like for instance, the mouse clicking, a keyboard clicking, the resize event etc. To use the default event you must write def the definition of the event the name of the event in this case on draw and then colon. The on draw event refresh the window when is needed. So we move all the window variables inside this event and change the order a bit like this. If you try to run the program you have a bad news. There is nothing on screen because the on draw event from one hand change the dimension of the screen and then change the center of the screen in the left down corner. To solve these two problems we must increment the dimension of the square, like for example writing 100, and then we must use the onResize function that use the width and the height that represent the new dimension of the screen whenever we decide to resize the window. Now we want to tell Python which matrix we want to change. And to do that we use the gel matrix mode function and the matrix that we want to change is the model view that change the view of the user screen. Then we multiply the gel model view with the gel ortho function with this parameter that I explain later with divided by 2 plus 1 width divided by 2 minus 1, height divided by 2 plus 1, height divided by 2 minus 1, minus 1 and plus 1. Then if I run the program, mm, something is not going correctly. And the problem is that for each event we must create an environment, so we must copy the save windows.event code here. Okay, now we have this beautiful square, but if I change the dimension, something is going wrong and the problem is that there isn't a default matrix so the program used the previous matrix as default but this is wrong so you just write gel load identity yes open and close parentheses and now all must be okay let's try okay yes yes all it's okay to understand the gel ortho function you must know that these are the variables in input of the function and this is the matrix that the function creates and I'll show you on screen the matrix that you obtain with the parameters that I'll show you. The matrix is formed by an identity part that we will use when we are talking about the zoom and then the last column that represents how much you move in the x, y and z direction. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, see you next time.